，环境的议题越来越受到各界重视。而最近呢，有民间团体要举办反核路跑，让台湾人有表达反核诉求的管道。那么，其他国家的民众是如何展现他们对核能的态度？有天 TV 记者张家李文浩深入英国的家庭，就来看看英国民众对于政府决定新建新的核电厂，他们有什么想法？而政府又是如何透过公民自议机度机制来跟民众沟通？蓝天、白云、大海、核电厂，大自然与核电冲突的组合画面却很和谐。因为在这里，不但有民众带小孩、宠物来散步，附近居民也已经跟核电厂生活了四十多年。这里是英国萨福克郡的渔村，早在一九六六年就出现第一座核电厂塞斯威尔 A。虽然它在二零零六年除役，但旁边还有塞斯威尔 B， 一九九五年才建造，是英国目前最新的核电厂。而法国电力公司现在计划要在这里再盖一座新的核电厂塞斯威尔 C。It can be built safely and, and maintained and run on in a safe manner. We've already got two power stations. I can't think another one would make a lot of difference to our environment here, and we've lived with this for a long time now. As a point to make about、uh, work. 要盖核电厂，附近居民的意见很重要，所以法国电力公司把新核电厂的相关资讯全部放上网，让民众了解计划内容，也透过这个平台进行公民自议。People in the area were given the opportunity to put their opinions forward,、um, and、uh, indeed、uh, they have done so. And the amount of materials that have to come in to build a new power station, so I hope they really consider that when they. Do, if they do go ahead and build it, because、um, it's very fragile, our infrastructure, and I would hate to see it ruined by new roads. They had lots of complaints about how many truck movements will there be, the dust, the noise, how many、um, uh, you know, temporary workers will come, where will the temporary workers live. 附近居民参与公民自议，关心的重点不是核安核废，而是施工期间对居住环境造成的影响。而一般民众对核能议题根本没多大兴趣。二零零八年，英国政府公布核能白皮书之前，曾经进行全面性的核能公民自议，结果全国只有两千零四十三人提交线上问卷，六百八十五人书面回复，只有两个团体回应。在整个英国进行十三次利害关系人会议，九次社区会议。反应出奇冷淡，而政府也就基于两千七百二十八份回复，还有参加活动会议那一千六百人的意见，最后决定同意电力公司投资新的核电厂，让反核团体质疑公民自议的可信度。The consultations around nuclear, the government has decided what they want. They are consulting because they have to.、Uh, they legally have to consult on certain changes,、um, but they've already made up their mind, so they're not going to change their mind. The nuclear policy is.、Um, Is geared around a set of、uh, issues like、uh, like cost and like safety and like what to do with nuclear waste.、Um, it's not really、uh, the the questions are not open for、uh, really for public input. I think public consultation here really it would be it would have some use but not much.、Uh, it wouldn't change the outcome. Unless the reaction was very, very strong, it's maybe 99% of the time it wouldn't. So yeah, I mean, there would there would be protesters who would go there and protest, and after a week, two weeks, the police would come and take them away, <laughs> and then they build it. 但就算反核团体挑战政府，还是没办法改变什么。反核的声音就像被关掉音量一样，在英国根本听不到，甚至连撼动全球的福岛核灾传到英国也变得很小声。It, the important some in some ways is the political. There was no change in political support. It was basically very little parliamentary discussion. There was no indication whatsoever from the government that they were going to change their plans. And therefore, the decisions around Hinkley have have largely been unaffected. I think the government in the UK、um, reacted quite quite、um, confidently to to the accident. I think there was a conclusion that we wouldn't in the UK have the risk of the same sort of tsunami type、um, uh, weather 
accident. 英国政府的态度似乎真的影响民众的想法。根据最新民调，二零一三年英国有百分之三十二的民众支持核能，百分之二十九反对。跟二零零五年的民调相比，结果让人惊讶，因为经过二零一一年的福岛核灾，英国支持核能的人不减反增，而且两次民调对核能议题没有意见的人都占了将近三分之一。If I'm brutally honest, I didn't know there was a new power station being built. So,、um, yeah, it's kind of news to me. I, on the one hand, I'm quite realistic. I, I think that, you know, the chances of something going wrong,、uh, you know, nuclear power is sort of statistically quite safe. I'm not opposed, and I'm not wholly supportive. I think with anything, there are、um, pros and cons to something. There's always a price to pay for what you need, and I think that as long as We are looking for more efficient ways of new energy. I think nuclear power, in the meantime, is not as bad as opponents to it.洗衣加四口的衣服要用不少水电，冬天开暖气更是耗电。小孩子正在学弹琴，弹的这电子琴也得要用电。这家人一年用电两千六百多度，电费三百六十英镑，相当于新台币一万八千多元。二零一二年英
possibly to serve the nuclear industry long after Hinkley Point is built, and that will provide that sustainable uh, lift to the economy in the long term. 经济效益百中间，核安核废放两旁，这是英国选择的道路。民众不管挺核废核，也都有拼经济的共识。终结核四，终结核四，核电归零。台湾跟英国天气地理条件不同，核安核废不能轻易放旁边。问题是什么才应该摆中间？台湾的公民参与度相信比英国更高，国内讨论核能也比英国踊跃。但我们始终没有达成全民共识，不要说公民自意，公投说了一年没有下文，台湾何去何从？这个问题恐怕得等到脱离政治口水战，走回能源政策的正轨，才能为台湾未来的电找出一条路。